Authorities in southeast Queensland are struggling to eradicate an incursion of feral rabbits chasing a sea change. The furry mammals have long been a problem in rural areas, but new colonies have sprung up in beachside suburbs on the Gold Coast. This Gold Coast City Council animal control officer is on border patrol. OK, it looks like we've got some activity here. Four colonies have taken hold in recent months, so the Darling Downs Morton Rabbit Board and Council are taking action. Like all great love stories, the colonies at Chugan, Kira, Coolangatta and Yatala started when a boy met a girl. There's a reason why we have the cliche breeding like rabbits. Uh, you know, two turning into 184 within 18 months is that's a lot of breeding. Rabbits are cute, but in Queensland they're illegal, with fines up to $40,000. Those fines are really uh, set up for those people intentionally neglecting their, their responsibilities. Um, the main intent is to make sure people are aware that it is a really serious issue. Traps, baits and fumigation are some of the methods used to control the feral population. And the Tweed Heads RSPCA has become a dumping ground for discarded bunnies. It's at least 80% of the rabbits that we see come through the door have come from Queensland. The number of unwanted rabbits has been steadily climbing for the past four years. There you go, this one's getting to sex today. We rehouse a lot of them. We don't rehouse all of them. We can't handle the numbers that come past the door. It's estimated rabbits cause between 600 and a billion dollars in damage nationally each year. And for that reason, Queensland authorities are desperate to keep the feral population under control. Vigilance is needed if problems past are to be avoided in the future. Tom Forbes, ABC News, Gold Coast.